www.thomasmarket.ie is delighted to be the main title sponsor for this fantastic new league hosted here at Wexford Equestrian Centre. We think that the Stepping Stones to Success League gives young horses a great chance to shine and it encourages the producers of these quality horses that we always like to see for sale on our website. So best of luck to all competitors over the next five weeks. I came to see the facilities and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, the cross country is, is a real innovation for the all weather surface that it provides. And uh, it, it's a great concept. I mean, young event horse classes are becoming uh, an important part of the year's program and producing them. And um, it's, 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 it, bodes, it bodes strong for our sport for the future very impressed today with the facilities and, and the setup so looking forward to getting the young horses out and getting the bay of mileage into them. I have made a decision a little while ago that I'm going to have a bunch of young horses to produce but I'm going to um, educate them a little bit more in their younger years and then event them then mostly sort of at the back end of their five-year-old and then six-year-old year so this is a perfect opportunity now to get the five-year-olds out and sort of give them a bit of education and then it'll leave them ready for the autumn time to do a few events. Yeah. I mean, we had Camilla and we've had Mark here today as well. And I mean, they've noted that, you know, the, 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 the quality of the fences and the course. It's a good question. I mean, the water complexes, it really does ask good questions of the young horses, but not too, too demanding. Encouraging. Yeah, it's encouraging. You know, the, a horse would want a little bit of mileage before he come. You know, that's basically the same with anywhere. But what it does is for the horses, even if they have a little blip or a mistake, it, it sort of, you get to know them a bit more and it, it, you go away with a bit more of a goal really for them. And it's sort of up to the individual rider how much pressure to put on those horses themselves, you know. For me, I don't mind them make a mistake. You know, I'm looking at the bigger picture. Some people want to win every day out. So it, it just depends on, on the person. But, you know, looking at the course today, I think it looks lovely. It's educational. There's a few show jumps. It, it gives you a chance to feel if the horse are thinking careful. And um, I'm looking forward to the day ahead now. I think that um, the new Stepping Stones to Success series is going to be hopefully a great success. Um, it's early in the season so for some of the young horses and it's great to see that the fences are quite small and the course is fairly tame to start off with. I think Ola's plan is to increase the um, difficulty of the course as the weeks go on. So hopefully we will see our young horses really progressing over the weeks. Um, I think we've seen a Diff lot of different types of horses and a lot of different levels of training um, and I hopefully at the end of the few weeks of this we'll see some consistency and we'll get some great young horses from it. I think the facilities are first class. Um, to do the dressage in the indoor I think at this time of the year for these young horses is great given the day that we have today with the wind, the high winds and the rain. Um, I think it would have been quite difficult to control these young horses outside and not having to stud them up, not having to put them under extra pressure, I think, is a great advantage for them. Um, we've got a bit of atmosphere indoors. We've got people watching. There's music playing, which, again, is great for the young horses, um, but a little bit more peace and quiet than if we had to be outside. Um, the cross-country facilities, it's great that it's on all weather. Again, a confidence thing for the young horses. Very easy at this time of the year when the ground can be very inconsistent to knock a young horse's confidence. And I think to be able to go out there, jump on consistent going, nice small fences with lots of space in between can only be of benefit to these young horses. Um, certainly, I've only ridden one horse myself so far today, but I've had a couple of horses already out there with other riders, and I can see how from the first fence they've grown in confidence, and um, they certainly looked a lot better finishing the course than they did starting. Um, happy with the calibre of judges. It's great to have an Olympian like Mark Kyle that's given an opinion on your horse. Obviously, he knows what he's looking for. He's ridden horses at the top level. And to have Neil Fern out there for the jumping, giving us some tips, has, has got to be great. Uh, so far, I've been very, uh, very impressed with the, uh, a, the, ve the venue and the, and the quality of horses we've seen so far this morning. Um, you know, all right, they've been uh, a little bit green, but you would expect them to be this stage of the year as, as four-year-olds, and, and the weather's not, 
not the best, so the elements are against them a little bit. But no, very, very impressed with what we've seen so far. The quality is very good, and there's some some very nice horses there. Um, so yeah, ones we would hope to see see in the future for sure. At this stage, you you know, it's all a bit of a, a guessing game. We can only work on what we what we see today. But yeah, I would like to think yeah, there certainly is some very quality horses there for sure. Today I've just come down to watch to see what it's all about. As you know, I've done all the FEHL in Dublin and all that. And I was very interested to see where this goes. Um, I'm probably going to have maybe six or eight horses to come down here, um, four and five-year-olds. So just to see what we're expected to do, to walk the course. And it looks amazing. It looks really good. Richard, you're down here today. What takes you down to Wexford? Okay, just to have a look at the competition in general here today and have a look see if there's any horses to buy. Um, we'll probably ring some horses here in the next couple of weeks ourselves, so to get a look at the see, see what it's all about. Like you would buy a good few young horses around the country in Gores Bridge, and you would see this as a concept of producing and developing them. Absolutely, uh, a good format for young horses. Yeah, absolutely. It looks looks a good track. It looks nice and inviting. Not not too much of an ask, which I feel sometimes is some of the some of the classes can ask a bit much, especially of the four-year-olds. It looks nice and kind of your horses prepared. He should go around. Yeah. The um, like you you source horses and sell them to all corners of the, the world. I mean, America, England, France, yeah. Germany, Holland. Uh, where where is the best market at the minute for the Irish sport horse? I would say about fifty percent of our horses go to, or maybe even sixty percent go to either England or the States, and then everywhere else after that you know there's a lot of new emerging countries coming into the into the job now some of them are some of them are starting to event more have started a while ago so it's slightly different markets but i would say 60 percent are going to the the states in the uk and like if this was to be beamed live and streamed live it's going to be a great asset for marketing our horses isn't it uh, absolutely we've actually come from Ballygown and county down we came down last night with uh, 10 horses for this um, we can dine with four four-year-olds and six five-year-olds. Good start of the year, nice facilities, uh, cross-country course is fabulous, indoor facilities is fabulous. They were very good to us and offered us stables and sites, so we came down last night and here we are. Yeah. I've seen a few of the horses going, I mean there's some very nice young horses and I see even the, the, the Douglas clan have travelled down with you from Newton Orge as well and Ockham Cloy. Yeah. The Douglas clan, as you say, are two or three nice owners of ours have been supporting us for the last couple of years. Uh, we'll be very big into the young horses and even the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds and the five-year-olds. So it's nice that the owners keep coming back to you every year and supporting the likes of these classes and the FE hotels. Because you, you, you are, both of you are renowned for producing young horses through the FHL and uh, and now the stepping stones, which I think is going to be a very competitive league and good prize money also. Yeah, I think everybody needs that. The FEHL has its class on its own right, but everybody needs a challenge. Everybody needs to another focus. So the, this here, I think, would have a big potential, and I'm gonna give the FEHL a run for its money as well. Yeah, I have uh, four nice young horses here today. The first I've just done flat work on. Um, he is a five-year-old um, by Thoroughbred Rainston Hollow. Um, we bought him at the Goresbridge Go for Gold sale last year, um, so we're really excited about him. We did a lovely test in there, so delighted. Good. And uh, is this your first time down at Wexford Equestrian? What do you think of the facilities? Yep, first time here. Um, blown away. Gosh, the place is amazing. Um, really impressive establishment and um, the the idea of this class is brilliant you know it's not too overwhelming for them um, nice natural fences along with some nice you know uh, small show jumps just to sort of get them into the swing of eventing so so hopefully something it's a great step as I, say, I think it's a well named the stepping stones it's a good stepping stone so maybe an Olympic horse coming from our yeah, hopefully. I mean, what I've seen out there, there's been some really, really nice horses and it's really, um, you know, nice to see the young Irish horses been produced so well with the likes of classes like these. So hopefully they'll, they will go and do Olympics.